Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn the effects of input, okay, when, whether it is type and magnitude, how it affects on the steady state error, static error coefficient method, okay, we are take, taking different types of reference input, first one is step, then we are going to take a ramp, then parabolic, okay, as we discussed in the previous video, the static, uh, steady state error, we have the formula limit s tends to 0, s into r of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s so as i said it depends upon e of s is it's nothing but the steady state error it depends upon the reference input as well as the open loop transfer function so we are focusing on to the reference input in this video okay how it affects the steady state error so we are going to give here different types of inputs with magnitude a and we are going to check the effect how it affects the steady state error so let us see the first one that is here reference input r of s which is given step we are giving step of magnitude a you can give anything magnitude a i am giving so what happens here so i will be writing r of s as what if the magnitude is a i will writing as a by s remember this okay for step r of s if the magnitude is a i would write it as a by s okay for ramp a by s square like that you have to remember okay for if it is um parabolic a by s cube okay these three things you remember that we'll discuss so first we'll focus on to the step if it is step input what happens so r of s is equal to a by a is the magnitude divided by if the magnitude is what 1 then it will be 1 by s simple thing okay s domain this is s domain laplace domain now r of s we got now steady state error what happens limit formula will apply s tends to 0 s into r of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s now if i substitute limit s tends to 0 s is the r of s what is the value we have got a by s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s now this s and s get cancelled so what is remaining limit s tends to 0 a by 1 plus g of s into h of s okay so this is the remaining thing steady state error now if you see limit is there s tends to 0 right so if i want to apply the limit what happens i can rewrite this as ESS is equal to a by I'm going to apply limit so this is constant this is con it is like numbers okay so magnitude numbers will be there one is also a constant plus limit we are going to apply for what wherever s is there so g of s and h of s simple thing see wherever s is there we are going to apply limit there so only this term is containing s it is in s domain so we are going to apply for that limit so I'm just rewriting the equation that's it okay we are applying limit to the whole function now a you can leave one you can leave applying to this limit now if you carefully see this is nothing but here it is the important thing this is called as this is a constant okay for a given system this limit s tends to 0 g of s into h of s is constant and it is called as what positional error coefficient this is important okay positional error constant and it is denoted by kp k and small p okay k capital k and subscript you can write small p okay not subscript like small p you can write now this is kp which is nothing but the posi positional error coefficient now what happens to e of ss i can write e ss as not e of ss it is a s s steady state error which is equal to steady state error okay steady state and error equal to a by same thing one plus now i can replace this whole thing with k p which is the positional error coefficient okay so e of ss will become a by one plus k p so whenever step input is selected as a reference input what happens positional error coefficient kp will come okay will control the error in the system 
that is the thing here okay so whenever step input is given kp will come let us see this graph try to understand what happens like we studied the definition of steady state error it is nothing but the difference between the actual in output and desired output or you can tell reference input and the feedback signal that we discussed in the previous video now you can see as you know what is step input step input basically you have to get like this correct that is nothing but the desired output okay desired output but actually when you feed to the system any given system there will be some error signal okay so because of that there is some error it is given by see you can see this space so it will be like this one curve shape then at last it will be go uh, like it will be in a steady state so you can see there is a difference between desired output and the actual output for example let us see, uh, let us i give you give you one uh, small example if you want to get 20 number okay you want to get for a given system you have to get 20 number but because of some error you are getting around 18 so there is a difference between these two right there is what what is the difference two so this is nothing but the error for any given system there it is possible right error will be there so this is nothing but the desired output and you are getting actual output as 18 so this is difference difference is that that difference is nothing but uh, steady state error that is given by e of ss is equal to a by 1 plus kp for it is for what unistep whenever you are getting step not unistep step unit when becomes what one magnitude okay it is just step so a by 1 plus kp where a is the magnitude okay so this thing you have to remember now moving further let us focus on to the next reference input that is here it is ramp so as i said r of s will become what a by s square because a is the magnitude if it's unit then it will be 1 by s square okay but it is not unit it will take some certain magnitude a so this is the reference input we will go for the steady state error which is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into r of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so we have limit s tends to 0 s into r of s is nothing but a by s square correct divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so 1s and from 1s will get cancelled so what is remaining it is equal to limit s tends to 0 what is it a by s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s okay now this s i can bring it down also so i can write it as limit s tends to 0 a by s correct s into 1 plus g of s into h of s if you want you can multiply also okay so if i multiply limit s tends to 0 a by s plus s into g of s into h of s okay so this is nothing but the final steady state error so let us see what happens here so let us now what you have to do limit you have to apply for the whole function a we don't have any s term so no need to apply limit over there but here denominator two terms are there both of them is containing what s so i have to apply both for both of them so what happens here a, no limit for a okay constant value limit s tends to 0 for s what happens it will be 0 itself plus limit s tends to 0 for s into g of s into h of s so this term becomes what 1 oh sorry 0 not 1 0 okay limit s tends to 0 s will be what 0 itself now so what is remaining remaining is a by limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s so this is the remaining thing which is nothing but the steady state error after applying limit now if you see again the same thing we have done for unit step also this this function you can see wherever limit is applied limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s this is nothing but here it is velocity error coefficient velocity error coefficient important thing there it was for step it was 
positional error it here it is velocity error okay so this is the important thing limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s is nothing but the velocity error coefficient and it is denoted by k v k v small v okay k capital and this one small v so now the steady state error i can write it as finally a by now this whole thing is nothing but kv right so i can write kv so this is a steady state error so always remember whenever the reference input is ramp ramp input is selected as reference input so there will be what velocity error coefficient which will be controlling the which will control the error in the system okay so that is the thing you have to remember oh and one more thing graph let us see quickly so here is a graph again as you know for the ramp it is like this ramp okay so as you can see the red line it is the desired output as i said if you want 20 this is the desired output but you are getting 18 okay that is the actual output 18 is the actual output desired output is 20 there is some error okay this error you can see there is some error over here it is not matching right so that error is nothing but what ess steady state error which is given by a by kv kv is nothing but the velocity error coefficient as we discussed so whenever there is a ramp input then it will be steady state error will be a by kv now we have last and final reference input we are considering as parabolic okay parabolic have of magnitude a now in parabolic what happens r of s will be equal to as i said it will be a by s cube a is the magnitude if it is unit i can write it as a by s cube oh, sorry one by s cube okay here magnitude i am taking a now again the same thing steady state error is equal to limit s tends to zero s into r of s divided by one plus g of s into h of s here the thing is that limit s tends to zero s into a by s cube divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s 1s and 1s will get cancelled so a by s square is remaining so i'll write it here so limit s tends to 0 a by s square right so a by s square divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s which is equal to limit s tends to 0 this s square i can bring it down so a by s square into 1 plus g of s into h of s so that will be limit s tends to 0 a by i can multiply this s square plus s square g of s into h of s okay so this is the thing e of s s i got now i have to apply what limit wherever s term is there no need to apply for a s term is there here also s term so i'll apply so what happens a will remain as it is limit s tends to 0 for s square plus limit s tends to 0 s square g of s into h of s now this term becomes what 0 okay so if you apply s uh, s tends to 0 for this it will be 0 okay simple thing now what is remaining a by limit s tends to 0 s square g of s h of s simple so which is e of ss so we got e of ss which is given by a by limit s tends to 0 s square g of s h of s if you look into this denominator wherever limit is applied so limit s tends to 0 s square g of s h of s this term is said to be what in parabolic it is said to be the acceleration acceleration error sorry it is e acceleration error coefficient okay acceleration error coefficient so i can write it as limit s tends to 0 s square g of s h of s is nothing but the acceleration error coefficient and i can denote it as k capital a and a small a okay 
and so what happens to steady state error it will become a by k a simple in place of this i am placing k so simple thing so what we got whenever parabolic input is there selected as a reference input acceleration error coefficient will control the error in the given system okay that's it these things you have to remember so as you can see parabolic graph you can see parabolic is there this is the parabolic desired output actual output some error will be there that's why you can see space is there right it is not matching some space is there so actually you should get this path but you will be you will be not getting because of some error that error is said to be ESS steady state error and it is given by a by k since the uh, you can see parabolic input parabolic input is there that's why okay so these things you have reference input is parabolic see always remember you can don't get confused as i said before only reference input desired output this reference input only tells the desired output level of desired output that's why i'm telling reference input is what parabolic because of that that's why it is parabolic okay desired output same thing only don't get confused so ess is equal to a by k now let us finalize all the things three things we have studied let us now finalize i'll tell you how to remember all these things see as we discussed a static error coefficient this will be a no new term for this for you guys but the thing is that it is the same thing which we have studied like we studied kp k v k a this is nothing but a static error coefficient okay see the first term which is nothing but the kp which is nothing nothing but what positional error coefficient so which is given by limit s tends to zero g of s into h of s and kv it is limit this is velocity error coefficient s tends to zero here one s term will come s into g of s into h of s then ka it is acceleration error coefficient limit s tends to zero s square into g of s into h of s simple how to remember see g of s h of s is there first term and then for velocity s will come this for s square so let me write here also for kp for which for what we got kp whenever the steady state error we have a by 1 plus kp correct steady state error whenever we have this thing uh, velocity error coefficient it is k by uh, sorry a by kv and for this term it is a by ka correct simple thing a by 1 plus kp a by kv a by k and one more thing if you want to remember you can remember this also this is nothing but steady state error okay so for what we got kp and all whenever the reference input we have a uh, step a by s a by s square a by s cube this also you can remember simple thing so if you remember this all simply you can remember okay easy method